Okay, another quick update. So I've done a little bit more research on, um, you know, the uh, article seventeen. I think it is turned into now. Um, but yeah, excuse me. Anyway, um, so quick update. That's not going to go into uh, motion in about two years. I think it is. I could be misremembering that, but I'm pretty sure it's two years. So my channel will not be affected for that period of time. So I guess my plan will have to be for me year to wait for Google to implement their thing. Will have to be postponed to another couple of years, which might actually be good for the UK because by that point we should be if everything doesn't fuck up, we should be out of the EU. So we might not even have to implement this law in the first place. Um, which, like I said, could even just save my channel entirely. Um, don't know about the rest of the country though. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, it's very interesting with me on the EU because when, uh, you know, Brexit started, I was too young to vote, so I didn't. I wasn't that involved in it because it's like, if I get involved, what difference am I going to make? And it's just like, well, you could tell your family members about it. It's like, don't talk to my mum or dad about politics. My dad hates politics and doesn't even vote. My mum is so stubborn that you could tell her literally anything, provide her with any sort of facts or anything, and she will remain steady with where she stands. My brother, I don't speak to my brother, I don't get to see my older sister that often, so when I do see her, I don't want to talk about politics. Um, man, I might bring up like something about politics, but I won't usually make it a big topic. Um, so yeah, my nan and granddad don't get to see them too often, but when I do see them, I'm not going to talk about politics. Um, and my other granddad, well, my other nan is dead, and my other granddad, um, he, um, I, I don't talk about politics to him either. It's, I don't talk about politics to my family because that's probably the dumbest thing you can do is talk about politics to your family. Like, if, if you want to get rid of a family member, talk politics to them. Anyway, um, but anyway, that's uh, not what what this uh, quick update is supposed to be about. Anyway, so that's that will be my plan for when the. Uh, EU stuff goes and in, comes into effect. So, thankfully, I, I think should be normal for about two years. Um, well, also, yes, I was just watching Philip DeFranco. Oh, excuse me again. Um, and the, the, if you haven't seen his videos, brilliant uh, news uh, news source. You, you know, just go watch him. He he is brilliant. I think he has like an entire team behind him. So it's not often he gets something wrong. Um, but yeah, I was just watching this video, and um, this is what really inspired me to make this video. It's just like, yeah, I could just release the update whenever because it's just like I could, you know, maybe sneakily record a couple of videos and say, like, oh, I just found this out. I mean, it wouldn't be too much of a lie, and then I would just like um, be able to have like a little backlog of videos or whatever. But anyway. Um, he reported that um, basically the EU members, of the EU Parliament, I do believe it's called, and the members of Parliament. Which, bearing in mind, I have no knowledge of us being able to vote for our EU MPs. So far, I know they've always been, uh, you know, put there by the EU itself. Which again was like that, that I did say that I didn't know much about Brexit and all that, but I do believe that was one of the big reasons why people wanted to leave Brexit because we couldn't decide our own EU MP. Um, and it, uh, yeah, this pre if this is true, this pretty much perfectly demonstrates why we should be able to elect our own EU MP. Uh, I've got two reactions here. One for if, it's, if this is real and one for if this is fake. So, what is it first of all? Apparently, a good chunk of the EU MPs, enough to make, the, make it so that this that Article 17 would never have even gone through in the first place, voted wrong. or And one didn't even intend to vote at all. 
So, first my reaction for if they are actually telling the truth, which I doubt, but stupid people be stupid. What the fuck? How did the EU put such incompetent retards in charge of choosing legislation for billions of people? Holy shit! How did we not realise this was a bad idea sooner? How did we... How did Brexit not happen sooner? Were, these, were people just looking at their shoes while the EU was just electing incompetent morons? Fuck! And now my reaction to if this is fake. They're probably just uh, doing uh, PR, you know, uh, PR management. They're just like, oh shit, we just signed in, the, in one of the most hated legislation in ev everywhere. And it is uh, mainly uh, f pushed forward by Germany who don't have any fair use and is seen by the rest of the world as very backwards on fair use and uh, um, copyright. We better uh, uh, try and uh, um, get all blame off of us as soon as possible. That is, those are my two reactions to those two things, to those two possibilities. And yeah, like I said, to the first one, if this is real, how? How did the how did the EU manage to find and elect such incompetent people? Seriously, I'm not I'm not joking. I'm not overreacting here. These people literally sign legislations that make laws for thousands of people, if not billions. And they are that incompetent. That fucking incompetent. Oh, why are we not already out of the EU? Like, seriously. Any, like, Ameri if you're in America, if you're watching this and you're not in England, and previously you said or thought that England leaving the EU was a bad idea, hearing this news, now the EU MPs are this incompetent. Do you blame us for wanting to leave the EU now? Seriously, it's just like, you look at that and it's like, maybe Brexit wasn't such a bad idea. And that, bearing in mind, when Brexit was, you know, just like a, was actually yeah, being voted on and everything, I was a Remainer. I wanted to remain within the EU. I didn't want to leave the EU. I was like, eh, I think it might actually be better if we just stay here because we do actually get quite a bit of money from them. All, mind you, I didn't take much of a side. I was like, centre that way. I don't know if it's left or right. Like I said, I get them mixed up sometimes. But I was very centre, but leaning into the direction of staying within the EU. My main problem with it is that both sides were just spouting bullshit quite often. Like, even I was, even me, pre-voting um, age was like, I, th I think both sides are bullshitting here, like just a bit. They're bullshitting just a bit here. Um, but yeah, um, when you hear stuff like that, it's just like, do you, you blame us? Do, do you honestly say, now say after seeing that, that leaving the EU is still a bad idea, no matter how um, badly our members of parliament can fuck this up. At least it'll be our members of parliament. At least we get to vote on them. At least their incompetency is our fault. Here we don't get to vote on our EU MPs. So their incompetence is not our fault. We can't blame ourselves for their incompetence. We're just like, nah, shit. Well, we're fucked. Oh, but I, if you want to, if you want to hear what I think, I think it's most likely they're just doing PR and damage control. It's just like, I'm sure the music industry is lining their pockets very well with a lot of money. A lot of money is just like going like that. They're, they're, they're making it rain all over these members of parliament. 
You can bet your bottom fucking dollar on that. And to be honest, like I said, when I first heard about Brexit and all that, I did a little bit of research because it was, you know, a college project. And I was a Remainer, and it's like, yeah, no, the EU is a burning garbage pile, and anybody pretending otherwise is in denial or has some sort of monetary investment in keeping the EU not a burning pile of garbage. Like, seriously. Uh, I'm just... Yeah, no. Sooner England leaves the EU, the UK e leaves the EU, the better. Because if this, if this is uh, the, you know, average level of, uh, you know, smart, the average IQ you know, for a EU MP that they uh, put in that position, then anybody in the EU better be scared. Because they, it's going to be easy to get any legislation f past them if they're that stupid. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.